Hey guys, this is Tona and today we've got the blog with 2099, Noir and the new Spider Weaver. Um, I'm pretty excited about these guys. Um, I love Cosmic Crucible. Cosmic Crucible is probably my favorite game mode in Strike Force at the moment. Like, I absolutely hate war. It's just so boring, but Crucible at least is kind of really interesting. So I, I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, now, before we get into it, I just wanted to say um, thank you so much for the well wishes for Oliver. He has an ear infection. <laughs> Someone said that he was dead in my arms and like saying like, oh, you should be worrying about your baby instead of doing videos. For a start, I can do both. Like, he's okay. He's fine. I, my, my family and everything are my first priority, as you guys know. So don't worry about him. If he's asleep in my arms, then he's just asleep in my arms. That's what babies do. All right. So Tangled Web, we've obviously got the new uh, Spider Weaver, plus we've got Spidey 2099 and Spidey Noir, plus Tangled Web uh, Cosmic Crucible, similar to Unlimited and Wakandan. So um, here we've got their kits. So we've got Hero Global Mystic Protector Spider-Verse, which kind of makes sense. I guess it makes sense that there's Spider-Verse and then Tangled Web. So her basic attack, she's going to attack. And then if she is above 25% health, so she's probably the one you're going to want to take down as soon as possible. She's going to bonus attack and apply a bleed. Um, if she has any negative effects, she's going to clear a negative effect from herself. If she does not have a negative effect, she'll clear one from a random ally. And she will repeat this attack, bonus attack, for 50, 90, and 100%. So if she's at 100% health, she's going to attack one, two, three, four, five times. That is insane because she does all of this part, it looks like as well for the bonus attack. That's a part of the bonus attack. So she can apply five bleeds on her basic. What the heck? So her special here, she's going to gain defense up for two turns and offense up for two turns. In Crucible, she's gonna gain immunity for two turns. If she has does not have charged, she will gain charge. She's gonna spread all positive effects on this character to all Tangled Web allies and two random allies. To see there, nothing like no one that specifically needs to be with her at the moment. Heal self and web warrior allies for uh, I can't say web warrior instead of tangled web, tangled web allies for thirty percent of her max health. Heal two other allies for ten percent of this character's max health. She's going to attack and rebound chain to three adjacent enemies, and it can chain to targets that are stealth. And a counter attack will break this chain. It's unavoidable and cannot be blocked. So. With this, she's chucking up buffs onto herself. She's chucking up um, a charge onto herself and then spreading that all out, which is very interesting. Kind of like um, a, what's the face? This is like a Nick Fury special that heals as well. Uh, sorry, Nick Fury special that damages as well and also heals non like her team. So that's really cool. Her ultimate, she's attacking. She's applying trauma and stun, the primary target. She's gaining safeguard. She's gaining plus three charge. And in Crucible, she's gaining plus five charge. Holy cow. Okay, so that's a, a lot of charges. And assumedly her pass is how she loses charges. So on spawn, stealth to herself and tangled web allies. In Crucible, barrier as well. Uh, in Crucible, barrier to non-tangled web allies. Yep, no, that all makes sense. On turn, bury herself for 15% of her health. So she's a protector that doesn't actually like taunt herself. Um, she's going to bury herself on turn. Uh, whenever her or a tangled ally is attacked, generate ability energy for herself and fill her speed bar. When this character has charge, lower and accuracy by 100% for all enemies. When she loses, uh, when an enemy misses, lose charge. All right, cool. So realistically, like this is going to be like a perma blind that doesn't actually have the negative effect on them, uh, except yeah. Oh, enemies killed by this character cannot revive gain 50%, uh, 40% max health and ally, uh, tangled web game, 30% max health in a crucible. All allies gain an additional 10% max health. Okay. So she is required for, uh, apocalypse. Mention that the fifth and final Apocalypse Saga will have some additional requirements. She will play a key role in an apoc unlocking Apocalypse 
as we can officially announce that she will be our first required character, more to be announced later, to complete the final saga. So another Mr. Character. So that's six Mr. Characters now that you'll need at least Gear 16 on uh, to be able to get Apocalypse. More details to be revealed in the coming months, but we recommend powering up Spider Weaver. No duh. All right. 2099. We know his backstory. He's from the future. He tried to heal himself and uh, ended up giving him spider genes and et cetera, et cetera. He's a controller, city, bio. I don't know why he's city. This is the major part that I have an issue with. He's not really city unless... Because he internationally travels. He's kind of like um, uh, Cable. I would I would not consider Cable like a, a global character. He's cosmic. So 2099 should be cosmic as well, in my opinion. I don't know. All right. So it's basic. He's attacking and clearing two positive effects and applying defense down and bleed. And then he chains to a target and does the same thing. On Crucible, if he crits, he's got to prolong all negative effects. Oh, on basic? Wow. Okay. Uh, and then prolong all bleeds by an additional one. So you can see here the synergy already. Um, synergy here where she's got bleed on her basic and he's going to be able to extend it. Uh, which is going to be interesting to see how this works with Striker. All right, he's special. Shock and awe. Uh, apply ability block, attack the primary and adjacents, flipping offense up and applying bleed. Apply offense up for two turns to two random allies that don't have offense up. Prioritizing when tangled web. That's interesting. We haven't had something like that before. That's like... Uh, it's going to check if all the Tangled Web allies have offense up. And if not, uh, sorry, if not, then give it to them. If it does, then it's going to give them to other people. That's very, very interesting. On Crucible, prolong negative effects again. Interesting. So I wonder if all these abilities do that. They do. Okay, so he's like a controller, as I said, that's just about prolonging negative effects constantly. His ultimate, if the target has two death proof, apply two death proof to your own team. Attack all enemies for 300% damage, clear three positives, apply slow and defense down. Fill the speed bar for himself and all tangled web. And as with the other, sorry, I keep yawning. As with the other ones, you prolong the negative effects again. And then he's passive. Uh, on spawn, if spider weaver is there, gain speed up. On turn, flip one random positive to a negative on each enemy. Gain 100% focus for each active ability when clearing positive effects from enemies. I don't know what that means. We've never had that before. <laughs> so does that mean that like, if he uses his... Uh, if he uses his basic... While his ultimate and special are ready to be used, it has an extra 200% focus. That's only for clearing positive effects as well, which is basic is the only thing that it does. So I guess if you use his basic while... Yeah, okay, that's weird. In Crucible, if Spider Weaver is an ally, lower damage reduction for all enemies with bleed by 25%. So they make it so that uh, enemies that have bleed take more damage. Drain, focus, resist, all additional enemies gain, uh, sorry, additional allies gain resist. All right, then Noir. He uses guns as well, which is really cool. He's obviously a blaster. All right, so he is Mystic. So if you don't know, he got his powers by the mystical spider totem. He broke a like a vase that had a whole lot of spiders in it. They came out and bit him, and then he got powers from that. So it makes sense that he's Mystic, actually, instead of Bio. He could have really been either. Um, so interesting they went Mystic here. Obviously, they went Mystic, so that way we need to spend more gear. Um, he's basic, he's attacking, applying stealth to himself, 50% chance to gain evade, 100% gain chance of evade in Crucible. He's special, he's attacking, applying bleed. He's also going to attack the most injured ally, uh, enemy and apply bleed. If the primary target does not have negative effects, fill his speed bar by 50%. Oh, okay, interesting. Then he's ultimate here. He's attacking the primary target and applying bleeds and heal block. Then he's going to attack the secondary, uh, the adjacents and attack and apply heal block. If this character has stealth, apply disrupt for two turns. So far, he seems to be mostly just the damage. 
like just and it's a very basic kit as well which is very interesting um we don't usually get characters that have kits this basic nowadays so this is really cool all right then is passive if cru uh, uh, in crucible if health is full at the start of the match apply spawn on spawn gain revive once so basically ha huh, he gains an additional 50 percent damage to any hydra or swarm enemies so he's really anti-Nazi, is what they're saying. Like, because Swarm is a Nazi, if you did not know. I actually did not know that um, Spider-Man Noir was super anti-Nazi. I mean, maybe I'm wrong here, but... Here you go, we've got stuff to do with Nazis here. Huh. That actually is very, very interesting. Battles Ma uh, Nazi Germany and taking the spider statue from Madam Swarm. Interesting. I wonder if she's got similar powers. She does. She transforms herself into... That's actually really cool. I really love these flavor things. Don't get me wrong. It's very unlikely that this is going to be matter Like going to care but who knows uh when an enemy gains a positive effect fill their speed bar by 10 percent uh fill his speed bar by 10 percent gain damage gain damage in crucible if spider weaver is an ally non-tangled web spider verse allies gain 15 percent. so this is how they actually synergize well with spider verse characters um but i mean Looking at the rest of their kits, there's nothing in here that's Spider-Verse besides that. So literally, you can use whoever you want with them. It's just if you use Spider-Verse allies, then you're going to get an extra 15% damage there. Now, uh, funny thing, they actually put up on their Twitter that we're going to be getting a five red star... Um, five red star symbiote Spider-Man down here. Can't see that. Five Red Star Symbiote Spider-Man. So he would probably work well with them because if you have a look at his kit, he actually has like uh, synergy with Hero Spider-Verse. Um, he gives them extra, what is it? Healing and stuff. I think extra max health as well. With his oh, uh, passive here, he gives them extra max health there. And he also gives them healing whenever there's positive effects applied in Raid and Dark Dimension. That's only it there. But the extra max health here from Simeo Spider-Man means that he's probably going to be the best character to kind of go alongside them. Uh, especially because his kit synergizes really well with them. Like a basics, like it just uh, applies... Um, Applies defense down on his basic, extends negative effects, applies stun and slow. Like, that's just amazing. All right, Cosmic Crucible Season 1 here. Uh, we've got new league subdivisions. So, instead of 6, there's going to be 19. Um, there's going to be defined by a set amount of tribunal rating, which honestly is a lot better. Like, at the moment, it was defined by how Zubin's going. Shout out to Zubin. Uh, and if he went really, really well, then it was kicking people out of leagues or uh, stuff like that. So it's good that now it's going to be based on like, hey, you've got 1,725. You're now in Diamond or somewhere along Diamond. So that's pretty good. Um, updated rewards. They're going to be expanding it with more tier four, uh, level uh, tier two, level four ice ions. Uh, Tangled Web joins them as another team there. Improvements. There are going to be improvements there. Um, first up, high-rated Cosmic Crucible power players will be matched against different people more often. Uh, you no longer have your team's autofill. Thank God. That's lost me so many matches because I'm so freaking lazy when I go to select characters. Uh, we'll give you updates. Oh, cool. So when you look at it, you'll now be able to see... Um, you now be able to see how Cosmic Cruiser was going. So we've got new rewards here. Ah, sorry, new stage rules. So first of all, uh, we've got state hero mutants getting fifty percent extra damage, fifteen percent reduction. Oh, okay. Man, I'm so excited. 
my unlimited X-Men are going in here and just going to destroy people. If you didn't know, my unlimited X-Men are um, obviously got Gambit and Rogue in there and stuff. They've hit 1 million power now, so I'm very excited to put them in there. Spider-Mania on turn. Spider-Verse gained two safeguard and deflex. Obviously, that's where the new Spider-Verse team's going to be great there. Global Heroes gain turn up, uh, offense up at the end of turn. On turn, bio character supply offense down to a random enemy without offense down. And then Tales of Legends. Legendary characters gain 50% damage. On spawn, legendary characters gain three turns of defense up and safeguard. On turn, legendary characters remove all negative effects from themselves and gain speed up. That is, wow, okay, that's crazy. All right, so coordinated stuff, uh, attorney, power of attorney. You can get the She-Hulk costume, which I'm very, very excited about. Does it say you can get the She-Hulk costume? Yeah, it's there. I've, I was kind of worried there that you couldn't get the She-Hulk costume. You can use them instead on the No More, No Normal or uh, Misty Knight's costume if you don't like She-Hulk's costume. But I mean, the She-Hulk's costume is one of the best ones. It's amazing. Uh, Weapon X, character availability, Valkyrie getting added to orbs. Fucking whoop de doo. Uh, we've got Payday coming. We've got Alpha Raid. We've got Red Death. So Omega Red, cool. And then the quick rumble for Omega Red uh, coming right under after that. Really good. All right. So very, very exciting stuff. I love Cosmic Crucible. I am very, very, very excited about this. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have a great time. Goodbye.